Hey man, look, I've been out myself barefoot many places. I can't lie, my feet hurt right now. This motherfucker's been barefoot nonstop. That's not even the hot asphalt that is impressive. It's that he just been an ultimate rocky, sharp ass terrain and doesn't even flinch. Doesn't even like, you know, walk. he's just like fucking cool as a cucumber. Old terrains, baby. I love it. Fucking gangster. All right, guys, so here we are in Alice Springs, almost in the center of Australia. This is gonna be the meat of our trip. Um, there's tons of animals you wanna see, but personally, I've been dying to get my hands on a Parentine monitor. That's right, the Varanus Giganus is here, the king of the outback, the king of the jungle, freaking Ricky McKenzie over there on the spot. We're gonna catch a Parentine today. Bet your ass we will, let's go. Yeah, spider. Fuck, I had one crawling on my chin. Really. I'll walk right into it. Fuck it. are great. Two, heaps of spiders. Oh. I'm tired. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna run up to Ricky. What's up, cut? They could be anywhere out here. Yeah. Fuck yeah, that's how big the shit is. This other parade in Hulu? Frank? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know those bedongs that we seen the other night jumping around in the grass? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen photos of them actually eating those before. No way! Yeah, pretty crazy, eh? They just got... They, get, they must get big. Yeah, they get big. They got big mouths, big throats, so they can get down big prey items. I mean, they don't call them the king of the outback for no reason. That's right. They'll be eating all those little rock balls. Hang on. 
Get ready. Yep. There you go. Got it! Fucking Ricky Mac. <laughs> A Gold's monitor. Man, look at that. Pretty I'm little sucker, dude. Same goanna. Gold's monitor. Same goanna. Gold's monitor. Same thing, I'm just letting you. Jeez, dude. Look at the colors on the fucking thing. Oh, man, it's beautiful. How good is that? Guys, check this little guy out, man. So sick. I envisioned when I first saw it at Ricky Mac's Instagram, I said, man, me and this guy can go out and chase out some lizards, catch them. This is our first monitor we got a hold of, and it was even better than I would ever thought. A man scaled the tree, got him down, caught him down. Oh, bro, what a freaking dream, man. Look at that animal. Full tail. Now, this animal's going to eat whatever it wants that it can fit in its mouth. Small bugs, other small lizards, small snakes. This guy is sick, dude. Not even trying to bite. Long neck and easily be trying to bite my hand. This is probably uh, definitely a male. Two big bulges down there. So uh, maybe if I can like push him up, probably can see some his heavy pins pop out. Probably not. But yeah, man, this guy has looked great. All his toes, no scars on him. He's eating good out here, man. That's for sure. Ricky, what's scientific name? Ran is what? Gold eye. Gold eye. Yeah. Gold eye Flavorufus. Well, gold eye Flavorufus. Man. Uh, gold eye, just brownest gold eye does the job. Wow, guys. So sick. So sick. So sick. I can't stop smiling. Oh. <laughs> you bloody bastard. Ah. Do luck, man. There you go. How good is that? That that is a fucking good <laughs> lizard. How nice. Yeah, man. These things are super common out here in the desert. They're the most widely distributed monitor here in Australia. And um, yeah, if you want to go by subspecies, Varanus gold eye flavorufus. These are the desert animals. A lot smaller. This is full grown. Um, and yeah, they have this really nice striking pattern. It's like the ground. Yeah, literally. Broken earth. Look at that, nice band tails. Yeah, man. And that yellow tail tip's just trademarks of the Goulds monitor. Sick. Yeah, he's just got real long claws. Primarily terrestrial, they live in burrows, but if you can, if you spook them and you flush them, they'll take off up a tree if it's the closest, um, closest option they got. But yeah, these guys will be out here digging up lizards, scorpions, spiders, snakes. You name it. If it fits down that gob, they'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> there we Brother, go. Brother, our first monitor, huh? First of many, mate. First oh, of many. Oh, man. He's not even trying to bite. No, they, they're generally pretty good. Sometimes they can be a bit bitey when you first get them, but a lot of the time, they just chill right out and they'll just sit there like this. But as soon as you put him on the ground, to fucking let him go, yeah, mate. It's gone. They're, these guys' nickname, known out here by a lot of the locals, is just racehorse going on. Yeah, and I don't fast. think yeah you don't need to you don't need to explain that one. <laughs> what a lizard! <laughs> that is a fucking lizard. They're Bass super super bugger. common, but super Man. common now that he's cooling off a bit. Yeah, and especially I was just saying how we get into this sandy country. Yeah, the the species really changed. We've been in a bit heavier, like stony sort of country now. <laughs> this sick. sand, yeah. Mate, sand goanna, sand goanna. It's, you know, it's all in the name. It's all in the name. <laughs>
You guys ready for this one? Check this out. Inside this little shrubbery, there is an iconic species that ranges throughout the world that many beginner reptile keepers have. But out here, these guys are no stranger to dangers like me and Ricky. But we don't mean any harm. We're just coming to say what's up. Pick him up. Oh, he's gone. Fast little booger, eh? <laughs> Look at that, man. Central blue tongue. What the heck? How good. School us, Ricky. Oh, well, this is a central bluey. Um, these are found in central western Australia. Um, it usually coming out here just on dark in these sort of temperatures because this time of year it's just so hot. So, like now, sun's setting um, and it's still like 35 degrees. So, during the day, it's too hot for him to be coming out in the day like a regular skink. So, just on dusk or after dark, they come out cruising around looking for insects, plant matter, that sort of thing to eat. And um, yeah, one of multiple species is about, I don't know, top of my head, there's about six six species of blueies, maybe seven in Australia. And yeah, this is Tiliqua multifasciata. So, well, Tiliqua multifasciata. Central bluey, that's him. Have a look at it. Little Center of Australia, legs, mate. Man. Little stout legs. How good's that? These are one of like these are one of the least common of all the blueies. So, and they're also one of the prettiest. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. Look at the colours on him. Yeah. Let's see if you can get him to give you a little, a little bit of tongue action. A little bit of tongue action. He doesn't seem too freaked out with us. It's cute how little his freaking toes are. A tiny dude. Yeah. He's, they're fast as fuck, but yeah, like dude. they're not they they're move. not slow, I swear. I've seen these things run off the road and hit these the little the little wind row on the side of the road and I swear they nearly get air sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they're they're not slow for the tiny little feet. Look at these fast little buggers. Look at his little feet. They're like tiny. They are tiny. But they're quick. You seen him just zip between yeah. your legs. Yeah, oh, man, I, just zipping around. Before dude. I was out of the car. A cool thing about these lizards is they give straight up live births, no eggs. All the incubation happens inside their little tummies. Yeah. A lot of a lot of the other species of blue tongues have multiple babies, like they can have twenty to thirty babies, but these centrals and the western blueies only usually have between one and four. So Wow. A lot bigger babies, but a lot less of them. Yeah, this guy seems a whole lot more thicker than the other blue tongues. Yeah, species. yeah, he's real thick. More robust. Yeah. Looks like a female. But his head looks a little smaller too. Yeah, very small female. Wow, man, what a freaking iconic species. Yeah, man, you want to have a... Yeah, man. A little, I mean, gold monitors, bearded dragons, blue tongue skinks, frilled dragons. Mate, this look. trip, man, it's been amazing, dude. Couple of iconic species. Just straight up gangster, dude. True blue Aussie reptiles, mate. So sick, man. I love, like, the, the, the faint black markings in the eyes. Is yeah, that for heat, you think, huh? on that, that stripe. Yeah. Don't know, a lot of the blue tongues have that stripe there, just some have it more. So he's got that on the, um, on, on his legs, legs too, yeah. yeah. Don't really Thick know. Thick little fella. They're really hard to tell, male and female. Yeah, you can usually tell from the head shape. If I was gonna call that, I'd call it a female. female yeah. yeah. Um, if you have if you have a couple of them next to each other, they're pretty easy to tell, but yeah. Wow, man. She could be. Probably pregnant too, yeah, huh? Yeah, she could be. Pop. They're also fat. Yeah, <laughs> they are very fat. <laughs> They're known, well, blue tongues are known to be fat. Wow, man. What a lizard, eh? Yeah, right man. on sunset, we got the good sky going yeah. on in the background. We got it all happening. Let the, let the, let the girl off the road and uh, let it go off in the bush, huh? Yeah, yeah, we'll get back. We'll get back on her, eh? It's prime time, mate. We saw a dead one of these a couple of nights ago, huh? Yeah, oh, that was north. right, way up north. Oh, there you go. Ah, freaking central blue tongue. Uh. Time for this little girl to go to sleep. Release. Go. 
Hello. literally been eating a dead goanna on the road. That's a first, huh? That is a first. I've never seen that. Wow. Well, now we can check the box of scavengers for uh, a <laughs> blue tongue skin. That's pretty ridiculous. I knew they were garbage gusses, but it's eating a dead scene goanna. It's yeah. like jerkied into the road. <laughs> like smushed flat. Yeah. Have well, a look at him. That is cool, huh? Yeah. I mean, guys, check it out over here, too. He was really eating this shit, dude. That's gnarly. Opportunist feeders, huh? Yeah, that is actually pretty gnarly. Have a look I at love it. seeing stuff like that. Nice little fella. Active look. Dark as. Yeah. You wouldn't expect it, eh? Like, yeah. you know, everyone thinks blue tongues skink out during the day. Pitch black, he's out here. Yeah, I know. Pitch, most common time to find it. Smelling a, a rodent. A, yeah, a dead. Dead roadkill. Dead roadkill. Dead Sorry, going a rodent. But yeah, middle of the night, this is the most common time to find these fellas. Especially wow. in the warmer months. So there's something that your captive keepers don't know. Blue tongues, nocturnal. If you don't know, now you know, nigga. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get him back, eh? Yeah, for sure. That's probably hungry, huh? Maybe we should bring him his gun. Yeah, I'll get it. Bon appetit, buddy. Let me get back into it. That's good stuff right there. Put it like that. Don't eat it all at once. <laughs> that looks like a bird. What's a bird? Yeah, it's a bird. Oh, he jumped. It's a legless lizard. It's all right. Yeah. But he's, they're all tail safe. So you got to ah. get them up near the top. Yeah. Burton's, huh? Burton's legless lizard. Wow, look at that nose, guys. And the linear striping. Cool, eh? Sick little guy. You want to know the craziest thing about these? Yeah. I'll tell you. They are lizard specialists. They eat other lizards. Only eat other lizards. Wow. And on that little pointed snout he's got, mm -hmm. they've got a hinge on the top jaw. And so when they bite a lizard on the neck, it like clamps over and they suffocate the lizard to death. And then they eat it whole. Damn. That's the only thing they eat. Some they've been known to eat other snakes, but that's it. You they will not catch it eating another another insect. Like it's not going to eat a cricket or nothing. Wow. You wouldn't expect it, eh? Yeah, bro. And that's a lizard. The closest relative is a gecko. <laughs> Some wild shit out here. And the striping on it is crazy. Show them the belly. Much Look more the, different. Oh, the belly on it. It's like a barrier. Damn, it's like rows of dots. Crazy, eh? Yeah, they're the little remnants of his legs, eh? One more, one more quick, one more quick fact. Yes. These are one of, they're up there in probably the three most widespread Australian reptiles. Really? Yeah, so you literally from east to west, north to south, pretty well on the mainland, you get these. And Everywhere. They, and they come in, you know, no two look the same. They come in all different colors, patterns. Wow. So yeah, pretty interesting, but Bro, badass little leg. So lizard. much school. Man, badass. amazing teacher, man. Let's get uh, this guy off the road. Bro, look at the size of this thing. <laughs> Bro, he's fresh out. Dude, he like he probably hatched like days ago. Yeah, he was born. Gee, yeah, born a couple born. of hours ago. Born. Look at the size of it. Guys, little bro. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Holy dooly. <laughs> Holy dooly. Have a look at it. <laughs> He's tiny, <laughs> bro. I don't think I've seen a blue tongue this tiny since they literally came out the womb. Look at that. Bro, he's gotta be fresh, huh? Yeah, he's fresh. What do you think of that? A week old? 
Maybe. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, you'd say. I don't know, the umbilical yeah, yeah, was pretty yeah, healed. Yeah. So you, They're slow growers too, huh? Yeah, you don't know, it just depends how Look much. Yeah, he's going, he's like, oh, I'll kill you. I swear I'll kill you. you oh! <laughs> Man, for a little animal, that little bite is hard. Got a bit of force there. Bro, a big one will really actually rip that skin open, huh? Yeah, look, I know that first time. I mean, he got my skin already. Look at that. Pretty pretty impressive for a baby. There you go. Wow. Look at that. Well, he's cutie, oh, that man. He's thing is fucking adorable. <laughs> yeah, he really is. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. His name is for sure Peanut. Peanut. Yeah. Peanut. One of me mates had one of these. And, a, and his daughter named it Peanut, so. <laughs> and it was a fresh little hatchy, or fresh newborn. He's little, dude. Little newborn, Centralian Bluey. <laughs> Yo, how cute is that, <laughs> man? Uh, oh. How yeah, good. Yeah, man. How cute are you two saying the same thing? <laughs> each other. Did we just become best friends? Yup. <laughs> I mean, yeah, just a, a vlog of catching blue tongue skinks tonight. It's oh, just, it's just the night for him. Yeah, the colors are extra bright on this one. Though. So yeah, sick. it's just vivid as. How's that? That is a cute little kid, man. You ever caught one this small? I've seen a couple of them yeah. small, but they're to be honest, they're few and far between. Yeah, I haven't seen many, but I have seen a couple. But in saying that, I've seen a heap of this species. Yeah, so it's expected to see yeah. a couple of babies. I seen him on the road as we were flying past and I just seen him zipping across and I was like, no way. That's like a full on tiny. What are you doing out here? A little man? newborn. Middle of the night. It's like, yeah, not, it's I don't even know what time it is. It must be nine o'clock or something. Yeah, it's way past his bedtime. But it's still warm. It's like 34, 35 degrees. Freaking baby blue tongue. Celsius. Ricky Mac is taking us all around, teaching us how to speak Australian in stupid American Australian accents. <laughs> what we have here is a blue tongue skink, Australius skinkus tinius. <laughs> Fuck if I know the scientific name, that's a job for Ricky. But we're gonna let this little guy go. Give a little kiss good night. See ya. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this kind of should be the star of the show. Yes. yes. Look at this. Hey, little fella. It's a smooth knobtail gecko. Nephris levis levis. Just come into this real sandy spinifex habitat. The soil's completely changed. Well, it's, the soil's gone. It's now sand. Have a look at that. Ooh. Another knobtail for you. What? Yeah, smooth knobtail. This is crazy. Nephris levis, mate. Look at that. Cute little fella. All right, bit bigger tail than the, than yeah. the Amiya we were filming. Smaller body, bigger tail. Still got that little ball on the end. Yeah. How good's that? Just out here with late as. <laughs> and he's just cruising around in this sandy country. It's just all spin effects playing. That is so cute, Yeah. Dude. Those bug eyes. Those eyes are crazy. They're not so fucking cute eyes. That's Nearly. a night full of lizards, huh? I know. A day full of lizards. A day and a night. Love it. All right, but let's get this little guy off the road, huh? Yeah, we'll get him back so we can get to bed. Guys, I am here in Uluru, Ayers Rock.
I watched the episode when I was a little boy of Steve Irwin on a freaking quad riding through Journey of the Red Center. One of my favorite episodes. I seen this giant rock and now I'm seeing it in person. So many emotions. I gotta go explore. I just woke up to this beautiful view. Let's go check it out some more. One solid rock? I have so many questions. Aliens. This should be Area 51. Fucking Lord of the Flies, brother. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. He's fucking flying. Alright, I'm ready now. I'm filming Mike fighting flies. Bro, this shit is terrible. <laughs> They're like inside of my eardrums. Oh, fuck. They're like on my lip, on my eyeball, in my earlobe. Son of a bitch. God damn it! Alright, I quit. No! Shot. I need you no. for one more shot. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> I would actually die. <laughs> look, look at this shit, Trevor. Bro, absolutely not. Damn, but holy fucking cunt. <laughs> Is this what you're talking about, Mike? Bro, like, I'm over here bitching like a little hoe. Meanwhile, Ricky is getting abducted by flies. Bro, these cunts need. Look at my fucking back. Bro, oh my god. <laughs> You're fucking mad, bro. You're a lizard. Yeah. Lunetta dragon, central netta dragon. Canophorus nucalis. These are real widespread little fellas living out here in the desert. She's a. Oh, we got someone on the road. Sorry, guys, we're fucking just taking up the whole road over here, but you get that in the big jobs. Um, yeah, real widespread little guys living out here in arid central Australia, right over the West Australia coast. Yeah, this is a close to adult sized female that is fed on insects. Little bit, little bits of plant matter here and there, but the majority is just insect. So, yeah, little, little Australian weapon, mate. Anyway, I'll get her back off the road. Just squat and then I don't think he kept going. I see him go past this part right here. Yeah, he's right here. Look way better than this yeah, guy. Yeah, this one. There you go, another Goulds monitor. Racehorse going on. See how quick he took off, eh? Hey? Just sitting there going cryptic, they'll just duck in the grass, thinking you can't see him. I mean, you couldn't see him, you gotta have a good look, but you just see a little, 
a little patch of his tail sticking out. And then when I got too close, he took off. Right up the tree every time. Straight up the tree, yeah. If they got a close burrow, they'll run down a burrow. But I'd say because it's so hot and late in the day, this fellow's been out here foraging, so he's a fair way away from his known burrows. So you just try to take off up a tree, but. So sick. How good is that? Racehorse Guyana. Racehorse Guyana, Gould's monitor. See that, the color difference on his shed. Interesting creature, man. Cool, eh? Yeah. Look, you guys can see also, too, his hemipenes popping out. They're always from. That mean that is a male. Once they start pushing out, you can see the sex in them. It's like, it's like a probe, but you guys get the point. You got two penises. <laughs> <laughs> so sick, man. Yeah, it's cool, eh? Crazy how these guys just do not attempt to bite. No, they. I'm in, I'm in straight up bite range right now, and he just doesn't care. Do cool, man. Let's freaking release this guy, huh? Yeah, it's getting back, eh? Little racehorse. Three, two, one, go! Yo! Right back at the same tree. Cars on the road and shit. Have a look at the sky, at the lizard. Wow. Look at that. Look at those spots, man. That is Tenotus pantherinus, a leopard Tenotus. Mm, or I pantherinus. Guess, pantherinus. Mm. You, know, you know why they call them pantherinus? Because yeah. they look like a panther. I like that. Yeah, I know. Looks like this big female is gravid, which is full of eggs. They have eggs, not live young, unlike the blueies from last night, but. Yeah, I've seen a couple of these, well, probably the same, probably, I've seen a couple of these, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a couple of I've these. seen a couple of skinks tonight on the road, Yeah. and like one of them I was like, I'm pretty sure that was a pantherinus, but we just chucked a Yui for like a snake or a legless lizard that was on the road. So, this guy just popped up. And this guy just popped up while we were coming back, but yeah. They're a fucking cool lizard. Yeah, I like that shit. Real cool lizard. Pantherinus. Pantherinus. Leopard tenotus. Leopard tenotus pantherinus. Leopard tenotus or uh, or tenotus pantherinus. Tenotus is the skink. Yeah. Is the skink genus. And yeah. they just call them, they call the genus name. Tenotus. Yeah, look, it's just, yeah. That's dope, man. Yeah, I like how they played the word on the oh, it's all leopard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah, why would you say leopard? Yeah. And then change it to panther. Yeah, you know, it's cool. It's I like that. Yeah, it's different. I've never even thought of that. Oscillation, you know, like a panther and yeah. a leopard. It's cool, man. Yeah, it's, uh, there you go. But yeah, they're a science. <laughs> I was, yeah, that, that fucked with my brain for a bit. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, leopards, panthers, they're two different animals. Yeah, yeah, and we're yeah. using we're using them. We're yeah. using them both. For a good cause though. Yeah, for, for a, a good cause. For mate. a fucking good cause. <laughs> Have a look at this fucking sky. Yeah, man. Holy it's fuck. Beautiful. That is actually sick. Yeah, it actually is sick. There's a cow off in the distance. We were hoping to get a bit further than where we were on dark tonight. But it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> but it's alright, mate. It's fucking alright. Not bad. We got a pantherinus. Pantherinus. Well, guys. That's the first of tonight. We're just getting this party started. Just getting this party started. We're gonna release this little guy and uh, let's get the show on the road. Booyah! Nice central bluey on the road. We're further north in the territory now, so they're a lot lighter. They got like this yellow coloration on them compared to that really darker orange color that we had last night. This road that we're on super busy, it's the main highway. I was hoping to be off this at this time of day, but we're, but we're still on it. Um, a road train just went past us in front 
we've already seen one dead animal on the road and there's another one coming up behind us. So I'm gonna be quick, get this fella off the road. Um, and yeah, just try and fucking get as much shit off as I can before this other one gets around us. Cause the harsh reality out here is that just so many animals are just getting killed every day on these roads, but there's just nothing you can do about it. It's not, it's just, this is the way it goes. And if you can get every animal off, well, it's a good thing, you know? Anyway, we'll get this fella off. Mulga. Fuck it, yeah. Little one. Oh, is it car, cars off the road, eh? Yeah, yeah. He's off the road. Yeah, road. so we got that. We got that big road train coming. We gotta let it. Let him pass first. We'll let him pass. It's such a fucking shit situation when you're stuck. Holding something so fucking hot. Yeah, and you're stuck between. You got trains coming and going and animals getting run over on the road. But, yeah, I was just. Me and Mike were just talking about. Mulgars on this road, you know, it's a, getting further north, it's a good area for them and I was just um I was just saying on the on the road I'm trying to get on you get some you get some big ones, some two meter plus jobs, so this little fella's only a puppy. Yeah, about but, 30 seconds of this guy's coming in hot. Yeah he's coming in hot. Just move off the road so we're not safe. We got big road trains out here in Australia. That's not even a big one, but they're constantly moving up and down and across the country. And that's sort of what I was talking about earlier with the um, with the casualties on the road. You know, there's nothing you can actually do about it because you know a truck like that can't swerve for an animal. It can't see an animal, and by the time it does, yeah, there's just nothing you can do. So it's just the unfortunate reality that. Lots of lots of our wildlife just gets cleaned up on the road, so. It's so alert, man, look at him. Yeah, super alert. They actually, have that cobra hood too, you know, but the whole body flattens out. Yeah. It's funny because the um this is Sidecus, which is false echus, which is that which is a viper. Mm-hmm. Whereas the brown snakes, like the proper brown snakes, uh, Sudanaya or Sudanaja, which is false cobra. Mm. But these black snakes do the actual hooding a lot better than the brown snakes. So alert, man. So alert. Yeah, you can see he was straight onto my fingers then, eh? Mm -hmm. But yeah, nice little snake. Yeah, man, he gets, he's got a good musk too. He's got a good musk going on. He'll just be out here looking for other snakes. There's a bit of rain around, so he'll be looking for frogs, lizards. They're not too fussy, but if they had the choice, I reckon they'd take snakes and frogs over anything. Ha ha ha, badass snake, man. That's why they're the King Brown, mate. Look at him, he's got his mouth open. He's yeah, fucking, he's got- rocks and shit. Yeah, he's got, he's got intent to get hold of you if he can, but he's been pretty good. Yeah, he is he's been a good boy. Good. Yeah. Oh well, I reckon we should get on the road. It's yeah. prime time, so. Let's let him loose. Uh -uh. Alright, I've got another mulga here. The boys are moving tonight, huh? The boys are moving. It's been, what, five minutes up the road? Yep. Got one more. Just seen him sliding off and pulled this up. thick, man. Well, yeah, of course, he's just flattening out. Car's still rolling, but... I put an e-brake on. Pull the handbrake up? Yeah, yeah nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's getting a bit bigger. Yeah. He's got a little bit, of, a little bit more game. See him filling out. Getting wider with that length, eh? Yeah. Cute little fella, man. Yeah, they're nice snakes. Bit different color to the last one. A little bit more like yellowy. Yeah, it's got like that granite color. Yeah. It's like granite yellow. In America, they have these these uh, these uh king snakes. Looks like a king snake. A what sort of king snake? It's like a, like a regular colubrid, it's non venomous. Oh, true. But they eat other snakes, so that's why they call it a king snake. Yeah, yeah. And they look just like this. Oh, that's why you call these a king brown. Yeah. Because they eat other snakes. And you got the king cobra. Yeah, <laughs> it's so yeah cool exactly. They got, the, yeah. they got the king on front of their name. 
Yeah, that's why people are like, oh, you can't call them King Browns, you call them Mulgars, but they're the kings out here, mate. They, yeah. they eat other snakes, I reckon. They deserve their name. Amen. Cute bugger. Yes. I'm ready for a big one, man. I can't even lie. I'm ready for a big one, I'm, too. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked to see how these, how, how big these guys get. Look at them hood up like a cobra, man. Yeah, exactly like a cobra. Yeah, we need a two-meter jobby. Six foot plus. Yeah. Oh, we'll get this guy off the road. Let's do it. ASAP. ASAP like Rocky. ASAP like Rocky. Go on. What? You gotta be ready to roll. Rock and roll. You gotta be ready Little to roll. Stimmy. Have a look Stimson's at it. Stimson's python. You gotta be quick, but there's another, well, we don't have to be quick, I suppose, but there's another road train coming. Yeah. They're just gonna be flat out all night. You're trying to, I don't know, I don't even know what you're trying to do, but they're just going through. We're trying them. to save them before the road trains run them off the road. You just, or yeah. squash them. It's pretty, it's pretty hectic and it's also pretty dangerous. It's gonna be a fast night, guy, so. Uh, look at this guy off the road. We've already seen Stimson's other nights ago. So uh, yeah, that's number two Stimson in the whole trip. We got three spotted pythons and two children's nights ago. This one is only tonight. Let's get out of here. Oh man, Central Blue Tongue. Oh my goodness. Look at that, look at that Jungle. Oh, he's running. Get your butt over here, man. Where are you going, pal? Oh man, that guy's sexy. Hello. Oh, it's got the tongue action going. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Central Bluey. Man, I freaking love these little guys, man. So cute. This guy's got his whole tongue out today. <laughs> now, guys, common names of these reptiles. Centralian Blue Tongue Skink from Central Australia. It's got a blue tongue. It's part of the skink family. Taliqua is the genus. I have, I have no clue how Ricky can recognize and pronounce some of the longest scientific names out there. It's really impressive, so. Hey, yo, Ricky! To liquid what? Uh, multifaciata. Multifaciata. Lit. <laughs> it's like, I love this guy, man. Again, love these animals, bro. Let's get them off the road. Uh, we're close to a city, so all these giant road trains are coming in and just running stuff over. We see dead stuff all day. Gold's monitor. Cars coming right now, so we're gonna come off the road. Um, release this guy. Go, little buddy. Get out of here. Go. Get that way. Go. Get out of here. There he goes. And he's off. Let's go. He's got a car coming. Definitely got a different color, huh? Yeah, a bit More different. More redder. Yeah, decent size, actually. Yeah. Got this pseudopod tartar. Oh, tartar. shit, hey, sorry. Holy <laughs> Little spotted snake. I just free pinned him off the road because some car down there doing sketchy shit, so we're not gonna hang around long, but nice big adult male. These are only a small species of snake. Front fanged a lapid, so they're venomous. Um, you can see his mouth from the shape of his tail there, but yeah, these guys just come out here hunting uh, sleeping lizards mainly. So, yeah, they'll also eat other snakes or frogs. But, you know, 90% of their diet would be sleeping lizards. Guys, I want to comment on, we've caught a, a few of these snakes over the course of a couple of days. And man, the color variations on the same animals are crazy, man. This guy's like, has like the red center dirt as skin. It's crazy, man. Yeah, Australian snakes, they got, fuck, we have a lot of variation. Yeah, man. Like, it's crazy. For just wild snakes. For instance, guys, like, ball pythons have all these different color morphs and retics. All the Australian snakes have it, too. But ours are a natural, ours are a natural morph. Yeah, man. Not, they're not genetically modified see or genetically fangs up in there. Really? Oh, you can see his little front fangs in there. Yeah. God, dude, that's sick. He's about to fucking bite me. Nah, he's all right. Don't bite me. He's getting close. We'll get this fella off the road. I don't know what's going on down there, but it's sketchy. I don't like it. I don't like it. Trying to 
around. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't even know what's going we on. We just met the snake! <laughs> <laughs> You're probably thinking we're drunk. We're not even drunk. This is like the third beer today. Third <laughs> beer. <laughs> Fuck that cunt, he's scary, bro. I got the drum right.